Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we are looking at the Gigabyte Radeon HD 6770 1GB GDDR5 graphics card. This is a mainstream card from AMD. Now we'll take a look at the box. There we go, nice box as you can see. Once again I'm looking at the Gigabyte AMD Radeon HD 6770 graphics card with 1GB GDDR5 memory. Gigabyte installed a 100mm large fan to keep this card cool. Also they used one of their brass components here to make it ultra durable. When I turn the box around you see a big text telling you which card we are looking at. Another turn gives us more details on the specifications. This card uses 1GB GDDR5 memory, has a bus width of 128 bit, features PCI Express 2.1, offers full DirectX 11 support and Gigabyte's 100mm large fan. The box doesn't look bad if that matters. Nice black and purple color scheme. Now let's open this box up and see what we get. In the box you get the user's manual with drivers, a quick installation guide, and for the accessories you get a Molex to 6 pin power connector cable in case you have an older power supply that doesn't have the PCI Express connection. Then you also get the VGA to DVI adapter for older monitors for example. And lastly to the graphics card itself which comes in an anti-static bag. Here you go, there's the single slot graphics card. Looks pretty basic in my opinion. The fan will cool this card down very nicely, I can already see that coming. This card offers one DVI out, one HDMI out and one display port out. Features PCI Express of course and the heatsink is mounted with four metal screws to put maximum pressure onto the GPU for optimal cooling. On the back of the card there is a 6 pin PCIe power connector and the aluminum feels very durable and also cold which is good. Now to the specifications. The Gigabyte Radeon HD 6770 graphics card has 1 GB of GDDR5 memory and the codename of the GPU is Juniper XT. It's running at 775 MHz on the core clock and 1000 MHz on the memory clock. Then on load it has a TDP of 108 watts and 18 watts on idle. Uses the 40 nanometer architecture and offers full DirectX 11 support. Also is using a bus width of 128 bit. In GPU-C you can see we are looking at the HD 6700 series graphics card. Here is the codename and the specifications don't look bad. Good amount of unified shaders, 800 of them. Full DirectX 11 and shader model 5.0 support of course like I already mentioned before. And as you can see I am using the latest drivers at the time of this video. Here is my test system. Now let's jump right into the benchmarks. 3D Mark Vantage at the performance preset. The GPU score is 8834, around 8800, not bad score but it can't compete with the previous generation HD 5770 graphics card. 3D Mark 06 at default settings. The shader model 2.0 score is at around 5800. The HDR shader model 3.0 score is at around 6600. As you can see this card scores very well here. Of course it's DirectX 9 rendering but still it's demanding. 3D Mark 11 at the performance preset. My 3D Mark 11 score is P2410. Not bad but I thought it would perform a little better. But for the price the results looked very good. Cinebench released 11.5 with the OpenGL test. 55.73 FPS, around 56 FPS. Not bad at all. Impressive, I must say. Unigine Heaven Benchmark 2.5 at 1680 by 1050 at extreme high DirectX 11 settings. On average I got 11.2 FPS, min FPS 5.5 and at max 26.9 FPS. This card scored 281 in this benchmark. Unigen Sanctuary Benchmark 2.3 at 1680 by 1050 at high DirectX 11 settings. On average I got 45.6 FPS, 32.5 FPS on minimum and at max 57.6 FPS. Score is 1934, not bad at all. Last Planet 2 Benchmark at 1680 by 1050 and everything else on maxed out settings including DirectX 11. In Test A I got 18 FPS and ranked C, not bad at all. In test B I got 16.3 FPS and ranked C as well. Definitely good results. Fermark at 1680 by 1050 without anti-aliasing at benchmark no preset. The HD6770 scored 1458, almost 1500 points. And for the FPS it's always a little under 30 FPS on average. In Dirt 3 at 1680 by 1050 on ultra high settings I get 35 FPS for the average frame rate 
and 29 on minimum. For most people that's totally playable, not for me, but let's move on to the next game. Battlefield 3 at 680 by 1050 on ultra high settings. There are some serious stress on this card, but still it performs very nicely with around 23 FPS on average, 16 FPS on minimum and 33 FPS at max. It's not playable of course, but all you have to do is lower the graphics settings and you're ready to go. Temperatures. On idle this card runs at 31 degrees celsius which are 88 degrees fahrenheit. On load it goes all the way up to 58 degrees celsius which are 136 degrees fahrenheit. My ambient room temperature was at 18 degrees celsius which are 64 degrees fahrenheit when I ran the tests. This card doesn't run hot at all. Very good results, I really can't complain in any way. The Gigabyte Radeon HD 6770 1GB GDDR5 graphics card can definitely play every modern game at the time of this video and can also be used for video editing. It of course doesn't perform too good in some tests, but for the price it's a beast of a card. Pros are good price performance ratio, then it can play every modern game and lastly the low temperatures. For the cons I only have one thing to say, it has few display outputs. This actually really annoys me, but other than that it's a good card. I give it a 7 out of 10 and definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching.